Hey everyone, it's Mila. Um, I just wanted to show you a few things that I've been working on uh, over the past few weeks. I did a haul previous to this um, video and um, I got a lot of Stampin' Up! goodies. And so I've just kind of been playing around with them here and there. And um, there's a few things, a few new things, uh, specifically one thing ink pad that I got that I am just so in love with now. Um, it is like my new favorite ink pad for like for projects. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to experience experiment with that some more. So the um, item that I'm talking about is the Illuminate stamp pad. And I'll show you what I've done with it um, so far. Um, but it it is uh, a, it's kind of like Bursa Mark, like a watermarking pad, except it's very glimmery or shimmery. Um, it has a very similar effect, I think, to the frost shimmer paint, um, except in like a stamp pad. Um, so I'm definitely going to be getting a refill. I didn't get a refill with my order because I wasn't sure if I'd like it and I didn't, you know, I, I had no expectations for it. I wasn't sure what it was all about, but I do love it. Um, I could not stop using it last night actually. But this is what the inside of it looks like. So it, it looks super similar to like the Craft Whisper White um, ink pad. Um, except it's not white, it's a shimmery kind of color. So, um, and what I really wanted to use it on was some vellum cardstock because um, I am working on my December daily, which I will share with you guys in a minute. And um, so I haven't, um, the other thing I should mention is that I haven't, aside from like the few stamp or um, stamps that I've purchased from Stampin' Up! that I shared in my haul, I really haven't um, purchased any Christmas items because I have so much from the years past. I really want to use it all up um, and I don't even think I'll be able to use it all up this year. I'm not very much into holiday card making. Um, so... I only really do like holiday layouts or holiday mini albums. Um, I ha I did do a holiday card the other night that I'll show you guys. Um, but, and I think I'm going to do a few more for some people. Just like holiday thank you cards. Um, I definitely want to do some. But yeah, I still have so much. I'm probably going to have enough, uh, probably not enough for another December daily for next year. But I'll definitely have enough for like a mini album next year or card, some card making for next year. Um, so, I'll, I, but I, I'm, again, I'm trying to use up all of my stash, not all of it, but um, all of my Christmas stuff. And I'm not really buying any more paper um, because I just have so much. It gets overwhelming when you just you have so much stuff. Um, definitely not as much as some of the. Uh, supply collections that I've seen on YouTube. Um, I don't even have half as much as what other people have, but um, still I want to use you know, a lot of what I have since I did buy it. So anyway, back to my, sorry, I ramble sometimes, I know. Um, so anyway, back to the um, Illuminate stamp pad. Um, so this is some vellum that I did for my for my December daily, and this is what my December daily um, is in a Stampin' Up binder. But um, I didn't have any like trans. Uh, I used all of my Christmas transparencies last year, so I didn't have any transparencies, and I didn't have like any vellum Christmassy kind of stuff. So I um, wanted to make my own, and that's what I said in the previous video why I purchased the vellum. So um, I started making some uh, of my own kind of vellum cardstock gorge gorgeness. That's not even a word. Um, <laughs> but it is beautifulness maybe. No. Um, but anyway, whatever the word is, it is gorgeous. And I just want to show you guys, um, maybe I should use some cardstock to show you what the effect is. So I took my uh, Christmas Deer stamp that I got from Stampin' Up! And I love this deer. I love his hoofs. 
it's just so gorgeous and elegant, um, just awesome. So I took this deer stamp and I inked it up with some Illuminate um, ink and I just put it on, I stamped it right onto the vellum and I just want to show you guys, I don't know if the video will pick it up, but I want to show you guys what the outcome of it is. Can you see like the shimmer? I don't know if you can, but I'm going to try to, there you go, you see it on the bottom there. Um, and it takes some practice to get it, to get, I think I was using, uh, I was using a really old block, so it wasn't that great, and I was actually too lazy to go get a new one, surprise! Um, but uh, I have a whole block collection, so I will definitely be using a different block um, when I stamp my next page, but I was just using this one. Um, and I just wanted to show it to you guys because I was so excited. Look at how gorgeous that is. How gorgeous that shimmer is. Oh my god. And on Bella, can I tell you how amazing that looks? Because it's like see-through, but yet it's shimmery. So it's just, it's so pretty on Bella. If you guys haven't tried it, you need to. Just gorgeous. I love it. And, and the um, antlers, that's what reindeer have. They don't have hooves. They have antlers, right? Um, cause I think I said hooves in my last video, but, um, the antlers are just, I, they're like flourishes and I love flourishes and it, it's just gorgeous. So, and then, um, so I did that across the page. I just stamped the, stamped the reindeer and then on the top of the page, so it'll, I'm, I won't use the whole eight and a half by 11 sheet, but I will probably use, I think my pages are like seven and a quarter by eight and a half or something like that but anyway so um, at on the tops I stamped I don't know if you'll be able to see that there's only one U because um, I thought I can use this like for a December daily page to cover or to be over some photos of my son so sorry I'm doing it sideways but that's the only way you can see the glimmer <laughs> like in the, through the camera um, and I just want to tell you guys that um, this is this stamp is part of a celebration um, stamp set that I got in my order because I definitely ordered over fifty dollars. So um, celebration starts in January twenty something, um, January twentieth something. So we as Stampin' Up demonstrators get to see all of these celebration products and get to try them out. So I got this um, stamp set for free, not the deer, but this it's part of another stamp set, this uh, sentiment. And I'll show you the another sentiment that's part of the stamp set. I love it. Love, love, love it. And I got it for free. So what's there not to love, right? So anyway, so um, that's what I stamped on the top. So. Um, so that is my obsession now with the Illuminate stamp pad. Oh, and I stamped it um, over some darker cardstock too, and it it's just gorgeous. Um, I I don't know if I'd recommend stamping it on Whisper White or Berry Vanilla. I honestly haven't tried that yet because I was just going stamp crazy yesterday with um, the vellum and the darker cardstock. So I'm um, definitely on my uh, to-do list. <clears throat> um, let's see. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys is my December daily, and it's totally not done. Um, I'm pretty caught up with my journaling. Um, my photos have been edited. I just have to print them out. And um, but I'm not done with my cover. Um, because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do. So I decided finally yesterday. So um, this is what I'll be working on for the next night or two. But um, this is the 8x8 Stampin' Up! Uh, three ring binder. And I got it in the crumb cake color. So, um, and I 
for me, this is just plain. I like to embellish. I'm embellished crazy. You know, I, I like to embellish stuff. Um, and I could just put December Daily 2012. That's not good enough for me. So anyway, um, I like to fussy cut and I like to use buttons and bling and flowers. Um, and I actually can't find my uh, poinsettias that I had. I had gotten like years ago. They're somewhere in my um, stash, but I can't find them. So I'm, I'm still looking for them. And that's actually delayed me because last night I was looking for them, but I couldn't find them still. Um, but again, I'm using all of my old paper collections, all of my old embellishments. I didn't buy anything new um, this year. Um, and some of the papers that I used for my December daily, I still, they don't even have anything to do with Christmas. They're just papers that I thought kind of blended well together with the Christmassy theme, I guess, of whatever I was going for. There's really not a theme, to be honest with you. So I'm going to stop babbling and show you guys. So yesterday, um, I fussy cut this out, and this is, I think, uh, from the pink paisley collection from last year, no, two years ago. Um, no, I'm sorry, this is not from pink paisley. I believe this is from Bo Bunny. Um, and I don't remember what collection this is from, something Santa, but... I got the reindeer one and this one last year, and I'm sorry, I, I don't remember what they're called. Um, but anyway, it's just a whole Mod Podge uh, of paper collections, so I'm not even going to know probably 75% of what collections they are. Um, so yesterday I Mod Podge to the top of this because this is going to go on top of my um, cover. And then I just put some stickles on top of all any part that was like white um and so what i was th kind of thinking was this i'll show you guys a preview so this is a frame again i got in like 2008 from michael's this was just in my stash and i'm going to cover this 2008 up uh either with some paint or um with uh, a piece of chipboard um, or something so I can use this frame and I can put like a family photo in here um, or when my son goes to take a picture with Santa I think I'll put that in there so this is kind of what I was thinking about doing and I'm gonna have this face you guys um, hopefully you can see that and that makes sense so um, so I have lots of these little chipboard pieces and so I was going to do family, uh, let's go a little higher, that might go underneath there, um, family Christmas memories, so that's how that would go, and I'll bring this up closer so you guys can see also, um, and then this might get covered like this, um, and then I really wanted to incorporate this naughty, nice, uh, these two chipboard pieces. So I, I'm not, I might bring this up a little more, move this around a bit, and then have this kind of down here. Or I might have 2012 here and might incorporate these chip pieces somewhere here. I, I'm not sure. I definitely want to incorporate them somewhere on the cover. Um, and then, of course, I would have lots of, um, like, flowers, poinsettias. Hopefully I can find them soon. And bling. Okay, that way. So this doesn't work very well. This camera angle doesn't work very well for me. But my big tripod broke. And um, so I have this little tripod that is really hard to keep in front of you. Because I like to move my hands. But anyway, I'm already into 14 minutes and I'm just babbling. So anyway, so that's how I want my cover to look, but with bling and poinsettias. So um, it'll probably look much different once I'm finished with it. So this is what I did for um, the, let me try to zoom out a little bit. Oops. Let's see if that helps. This is what I did for uh, the cover of it. 
And um, I kind of did this with my December daily last year. Well, I didn't do this for the cover, but I, I had this. Um, so it's the night before Christmas story as the one of the first pages. Um, because what I like to do is I like I uh, like to read it with my son, um, maybe the night before Christmas, <laughs> and and then we just go through the pictures. So we read this first, and then we'll go through the pictures of um, you know our December and how it's been. And um, he loves to look at pictures of himself <laughs> and um, you know of his cousin and uh, and stuff. So I like to have a mod podge of things in here, but um, so this background here is like, it's kind of like an ivory naturals color. Um, and what I did was I took some Island, Indi Island Indigo and um, I just distressed it with a sponge, the whole background. Um, and then I wanted to give it some background like effect. So I had like a moon here. And let me just zoom this in so you guys can see. That works better. Okay, so um, this is a moon that I did with um, the Smooch ink. I love this. I love to use gold um, on uh, like outlining and um, distressing and stuff like that. So I love this ink. It gets used. To, um, the Smooch gets used a lot, and I love that the brush is so super thin. So Stampin' Up does sell this. They sell a bunch of other colors that I need to get also. Um, and then I just stickled, oops, I just uh, used some stickles to outline the different, you know, the, the different swirls and poinsettias and stuff just to give it some more depth and interest. And then, let's see, I stamped a house here before I covered it and I, um, tickled it as well. So I kind of wanted to give it a background scene. There's some, some poinsettias. And for the house and the, um, I'm sorry, those aren't poinsettias. There's just like leaves. I kind of made them into um, berry, a berry bush or whatever. But um, for, for all these stamps, images, I used the Christmas Lodge stamp set. So I love the stamp set. I think the house and the tree are gorgeous. Um, and then moving over this way, I stamped the Christmas tree from Christmas Lodge here and just stickled it. And then I did the same effect kind of on the bottom and this bottom as I did to the other side. And then to this side, to this top corner here, I stamped the image from Christmas Lodge with the birds and then the branches. So that's my cover page. And I'm just going to zoom out again. So um, again, different collections. I have no idea what most of them are, where the most of them are from. But what I did with the sides, I used my Stampin' Up! Tab Punch and love this one too. I use this so much. Um, so I used that tab punch and I punched out tabs for all of the um, days. Not all of them are in here yet. Again, I'm not done with them yet. But, and then for the numbers, I tried to use something different for each day. Um, so let's see see so I tried to so every day has a different kind of number font or type set and then um, I use different paper collections so um, so and then what I did I'll just show you So this is, I just did different things. So I'll put my pictures here and just, um, I did different 
journals. I just want to show you guys that some of the paper collections, like I think this is an Amy Tangerine, but I thought I liked like the bright red color and it reminded me of candy canes. So um, that's what I used. Um, this is like a Graphic 45 collection. Um, this is an old Stampin' Up! collection. This is, I have no idea what this is, um, but yeah, so just lots of different uh, things here, lots of different pages, and I didn't really want it to, to match, I like that they all um, look different. So, oh, um, and then also the other thing was that I got these. Studio Calico um, little inserts and um, because I do a lot of like three by four pictures, you know, the smaller ones um, or two, I think they're three by two, three by four. They might be three. They might be four by three. I don't know. Anyway, um, so I wanted something where I can just stick it in too, you know, because there are times there are days where I take lots of pictures, and there are days where I only take one picture. There, there I'm sure have been days where I took... Anyway, so that's my December daily. That's pretty much it with that. Um, the Actually, I'm going to share my card in another video because this one is way too long. So, um, so that's pretty much all, um, all I have to share with my, for my uh, updates on my uh, December Daily and my Illuminate Pad, and I'm sorry, I didn't mean this to take 22 minutes, um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed my ramblings, and let me know if you have any questions um, on any of the stamps I used. Um, I used a lot of the Illuminate Pad for my journaling, too. Um, there was one net tag where I used, I believe it was Cherry Cobbler, um, cherry cobbler paper cardstock and I stamped the deer in illuminate over my journaling I'll have to show you guys um, you can totally still see the journaling through it but it's so it's very subtle and it's so shimmer like just beautiful on the tab when you um, look at it and read it so this is definitely my fa one of my most favorite stampin up things so far um, as of late so anyway, come back in um, a few minutes because hopefully I will share my card with you guys. Hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week. Bye.